I'm cutting up my pineapple the Chinese way. Huan Ying, welcome. Welcome back. It is great to see you again. There is nothing better than sitting down to your favorite meal. It can be something simple your mom used to make, or sometimes it may be an elaborate eight-course meal at a fancy Chinese restaurant. No matter what, it brings back great memories and makes us feel so good. Now, I'm feeling very good about showing you how to cook Cantonese style today. We'll hit up the walk in a minute, but first, let us visit Yokohama's Chinatown. Each year, over 12 million visitors come to Yokohama Chinatown. More than come to Tokyo's Disneyland. It is one of the most popular tourist attractions in Japan. And the main reason is the food. Look at that architecture. Land in Japan is very, very expensive. So when restaurants in Yokohama Chinatown need more space, they build upward to add more seating. My good friend, Mr. Jung Opres, one of those vertical restaurants. It is called the New Pearl River Restaurant, named after Canton, Guangzhou, the famous Pearl River city. In the kitchen on the first level, Chef Chen starts with sweet and sour pork tenderloin. Back in China, this is a favorite dish for many kids growing up like me. You fry the pork chop to a golden brown, Make a sweet and sour sauce. And serve. It is that simple. Next item on the menu, the famous clams with ginger sauce. The trick about clam is don't overcook. As soon as they open, immediately remove it all open up like this see this whoa still alive all open up if it's not open up the clam is dead ginger a lot of ginger i'm gonna put it back simple as that if you know how I told the chef, I told Chef Chen, it's delicious, never overcooked, juicy, succulent and absolutely delicious. Now I told you, this is a restaurant where the dining rooms are on the upper floors. So look, food goes up in its own elevator, no riders allowed. Upstairs, the dish is then taken from the dumb waiter. And Chef Chen personally brings it to our table. <laughs> Mr. Jung was born in Yokohama to Cantonese parents. His father got into the food business after World War II, first selling Chinese donuts on the street. Now the family has several successful enterprises. This place is a little bit different. Mm. It's much deeper. Like yeah. it's not exactly a bowl. It's mm. not exactly a plate. Mm. Oh, mm. you know what? This whole thing is designed by his brother. I mean, it's multi-talented. Here in Japan, the wonderful food reminds me of my Cantonese roots. Now another vertical restaurant, Da Fan Dian. On the ground floor is a specialty food shop and you have to climb all the way to the top floor to reach the kitchen. Up here, this is not a chain. This Chef Chen is giving fried rice lessons. Now this is actually simple egg fried rice. In most fried rice dishes, a tiny bit of meat or seafood is there just to accent the rice. This is a totally different approach. Lots of savory seafood goes over the rice. This is the famous, popular Fu Jian Chao Fan. It's very unique because this is a stir-fry seafood combination. Put it right over fried rice. Next, we're in a foul mood. Boneless marinated duck is coated in flour. Then into a piping hot wok. 
pan fry, wok sears. Pineapple, pineapple pickle ginger, custard powder mixed with water. If you have never worked in a Chinese kitchen, you don't realize this is just like a spa, like a jacuzzi. It is hot and steamy. This is the wonderful boneless, skinless duck breast. This is garnishing. Huh? Look at how beautiful. See, simple dish, yet absolutely delicious. It's tender, moist, juicy, still got the taste of duck. And yet the aroma and the ginger is all here. Good. Oh. With all the great food and great restaurants, no wonder Yokohama Chinatown is such a unique, huge tourist attraction. Hey, I've been working hard, browning my duck. I cut the whole duck and I have the leg and the breast. Let me check it out. Whoa, it's ready. Turn it to the other side. You know, notice that the skin is also lightly scored. Okay, turn it up and then put it out here. Make sure you brown it on both sides until the nice and golden brown. This particular dish I'm gonna do is the uh, pineapple, tangy pineapple whole duck. Or you can do just duck breast, uh, just the duck meat. This is inspired by my good friend, Chef Chen of Da Fan Dian in Yokohama, Chinatown. This is actually Chinese love duck. They make egg trash duck, Peking duck, Cantonese duck, pei pa duck, and then the pineapple ginger duck, okay? This is wonderful. Instead of using regular ginger, I use crystallized ginger. While I'm doing this, I'm gonna also show you how to make the sauce for this duck. Here, I have heat up a frying pan or wok, some lemon juice. Whoa! Get more lemon juice. I love lemon juice. I think that should be good enough. And then I put a tiny bit of lemon zest. Oh, lemon zest. Some crystallized ginger. Oh, the more the better. A tiny bit of honey. Tiny bit of honey. I love honey. You can use regular sugar or brown sugar, even rock sugar. And also a tiny bit of plum sauce. I love plum sauce. Chinese plum sauce, okay? Oh, this gives that nice full body flavor. Then a tiny bit of broth. And then we'll get a nice, beautiful sauce. Mmm, look at it. This. this is very nice. Okay, this is it. Let's bring to a boil. Let's put some pineapple chunks right here too. Ah, this is beautiful. Let us bring to a boil and let us taste and make sure the sauce is okay. It's good. Need a little bit more lemon juice. Oh, that would do it, okay? When this is almost ready, we thicken this up and let's bring it to a boil. This is absolutely wonderful. In the meantime, let's check out duck. Look how beautiful this is. Oh, look at this. Make sure you brown this and you brown this and you brown this properly. Now, a lot of time in Western Chef, they will brown the duck first and then they put it in the oven. But you know what? When a frying pan, when you have a lid, this is how you do it. Or when you have a wok, you can actually wok big, wok roast. I just cover the whole thing up like that and I let it sit there. In the meantime, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how to finish cutting out the pineapple. First, we remove the skin, okay? We don't want the skin. I'm going to show you how the Chinese chef remove all this ice. You cut it too deep, you waste a lot of pineapple. So what the Chinese chef do is, you, they cut it, you see this eye? One, two, three, four. You cut it at an angle 45 degree, 45 degree, you remove this, and the whole piece comes out. All the eye is gone, okay? And you do it again. Once again, remove, remove. This is all the ice. We're gonna remove all the ice, okay? Remove and remove and remove and you remove. You just follow the contour. 
until you finish everything. So all the eye is gone. See this? All the eye is gone. Then you cut this up. For some people, they want to remove this, but actually, this is actually very good. So what I would normally do is, we cut this in half first, okay? And remove these. This is the easiest way and the safest way to do. This, some people like to keep it, some people don't. But I personally love it because it's still a lot of flavor. And it's also very crunchy, okay? And then this one, we cut into little dice. Little dice, okay? And a little dice like this, okay? Oh. And then you put them all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put it all together. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Fresh pineapple. More fresh pineapple is good. Then when this is all nice and done, I'm going to show you how easy. This sauce is done, okay? We're going to get ready. Mmm. Get ready. You know, the great thing about this, you can bone your whole duck, or you know what? You can go to the store and buy duck breasts and do it yourself. And I think this is beautiful. Whoa. Whoa. This is so good. We shut it off and shut it off, and we can serve this on a plate. Mmm, look at this. How beautiful. This is very good. We have the lake. Put it right here. This is how beautiful the lake is. Nice and golden brown. Hey, look at this. Okay. And then we have the breast. Put it right over here. Put the breast right over here. Beautiful. The lake. And this. And then we put the sauce right on top, right here. This is so beautiful. Mmm. Pineapple, ginger, duck. Look at how beautiful this is. Make sure you got sauce through the whole thing. And garnish it a little bit with extra lemon and orange zest. Candy. And then, of course, make sure you have some beautiful garnish like this and you know what you have you have a beautiful zesty lemon pineapple ginger duck I am pounding and tenderizing my pork chop now here is another dish I learned from another chain and other master chain from Yokohama Oh, look at this. First is that you make sure your meat is pound, so it's tenderized, okay? This is a wonderful dish. I'm gonna make a tangy and sweet pork chop, okay? Look at this, remove and remove. And don't throw this away, put it in a stock pot, okay? Save it. And then cut this up, cut this up into medallion size like this, just the right size, by size pieces. And then you quickly, marinate this, okay? This is a wonderful dish everybody can make. In fact, this dish is probably one of the most popular dish in a lot of Chinese restaurants. Put a tiny bit of salt, okay? Tiny bit of cornstarch, and of course, a tiny bit of egg wash, okay? Because you want to coat, lightly coat this, okay? Very nice, it's very simple, okay? Look at this. And then a tiny, tiny bit of soy, to give that nice golden brown color. This is a mixture of dark and light soy. Mmm, look at this. So when it's pan fry, it's gonna be very, very good. You can stir fry, you can pan fry, you can even grill this. But some chef, like Chef Chen in Yokohama, they actually deep fry this. But I shero fry this, okay? I put this over here. I shero fry. Anything left over, save it. Don't have to cook them all. So that's why you can always do everything ahead of time. Make sure this is nice and beautiful. Mmm. We save this. Okay? In the meantime, while I'm doing this, I'm going to show you. I'm going to get ready some other ingredient. Here, I have some onion. I cut it up, okay, into chunks like this. Onion and green onion. And then I have some something I look at it, it brings back a lot of childhood memory. This is Ho San Jia. A lot of these are from Sichuan and Shanxi province. They're either in a stick like this, or a little medallion, uh, little gold coins like this. When I was a little kid, I remember, I go to the herbal shop after all those ooh, bitter tonics. 
the herbal doctor always give me this to eat. Mm. It's good. In the meantime, I'm going to show you how to make the sauce. First, I soak this whole in hot water into a nice, it's naturally sweet and sour. It's a fruit. Very nice, quick snacks. You can buy them a little back like that. In the meantime, I'm going to make the sauce. First, we'll put the horse. This is the, whoa, look at this. Make sure this is wonderful. And then, put a tiny bit of water. Mmm. Tiny bit of vinegar. And a tiny bit of sweet chili sauce. I like to make it a little bit tangy, okay? And then also a tiny bit of plum sauce if you want. And of course, a tiny bit of brown sugar. Oh, brown sugar. And then if you want to make it a little bit hot, more hot and spicy, a little bit more of this. And then you make the sauce. In the meantime, oh, let us make sure this is nice and golden brown. Look at how beautiful golden brown this is. It doesn't take too long to cook this at all. Because you cut it into smaller pieces. Now knife is wonderful. Make sure your knife is sharp and use the knife to do different things. And when the sauce is almost ready, you put the onion and the green onion right there, okay? Sauce. Whoa, look at this. And slightly thicken the dish. And we are ready to serve these in no time. Let me show you. This is nice and beautiful, okay? And then we'll put all of these mm, beautiful piece of meat. Let it drain, drain, drain. And serve it right over here. Mm, this is very nice. Make sure you do not overdo it with cornstarch. Okay? This is beautiful. Nice and red. And then when this is all ready, we serve this right over here. Look at this. This is so beautiful. Nice and golden brown, and everybody can enjoy it. Now, let us serve. Let us take it over here and serve these to everybody. Mm, this is so beautiful. One, and two, and three. It is naturally sweet and sour. It is so beautiful. Everybody can do this at home. It is something that, again, brings back wonderful childhood memory. This is it. A dish I call sweet and tangy glazed pork chop. Why are you having a coffee break? I am pot boiling my clam. Oh, look at this. The most important thing is when you do clam, make sure you use cold or warm water when you put it in. Let's see. This two one, this two is not is dead. You know why? It's not open. When it's not open, it's dead. You don't want it. So I'm gonna let it st stay there and take another swim, and we'll pick it up next year. Okay? We don't want it. <laughs> now this is all wonderful. The most important thing is when you buy clam, make sure they're alive. When you cook clam, you can tell not open, it's dead. I'm gonna show you how easy to do this dish. I'm gonna make this wonderful clam with glass noodle. Okay? This is a ginger chili sauce with clam. First, you heat up your frying pan with a tiny bit of ginger and garlic and chili and red bell. Then a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of Chinese Sichuan pickle. Mmm, beautiful. Oh, might as well take the whole thing. You don't want to waste it, okay? And then, really nice. Put a tiny bit of wine. You want a wine sauce, too. Oh. Tiny bit of wine, and then tiny bit of pepper, a few drops of fish sauce. <laughs> look at this. And then also some oyster sauce. And then make sure, get some prawn, get some uh, clam juice, not prawn juice, clam juice. You can actually buy, buy clam juice in the market, or you can save it. Save the juice that you parboil your clam. Oh, this is just enough. And then we'll do this is going to be a very nice chili, ginger, hot spicy broth, okay? And then we'll put this in. This is cellophane noodle, made from mung bean flour, the green beans. Let us sit together like this. 
and let it let this bean noodle soak up all the flavor from the sauce. And then of course, the clam, put it right on top. Look at how beautiful these are. This is so beautiful. Mmm. And then when this is all nice and ready, we're gonna show you how to cut up some other thing to make it uh, wonderful. This is green onion. I wanna show you how to shredded green onion. You see, you put your knife parallel to your cutting board, cut it in half like this, and then you julienne your green onion. Look at this. Oh, look at this. This is how you do the shredded green onion. When this is all nice and ready, you're getting ready to serve. These are all our ingredients, all our wonderful ingredients. We put also, put it in right here. You know, this is almost ready. Let's see. Make sure this is hot enough because this is, should be nice and brothy. You know why? Because this is like a soup. It's actually a dish. I remember when I was in Japan, Yokohama, Japan, and all the chain, there's a lot of chains. I don't know why, it looks like the, the whole street, all the restaurant, all the uh, chef with the last name Chen or Xie. When this is all nice and done, we'll take it over here and we will transfer this and pull it in. Look at how beautiful this is. Mmm, this is a wonderful dish, okay? And then we'll put this, sprinkle a tiny bit of these extra ingredient on top. We're gonna serve, oh, hey, check it out. Ginger chili clams with brothy glass noodle. Talk about tasty. This is gonna be a hit every time you make them at home. Remember, if Yan can cook, so can you. Sayonara, Jajin.